I made a French cleat tool holder for my two Ryobi nail guns. It's easy access and it holds tens of thousands of nails. Because when you have a nail emergency, you want your nail guns instantly available. This video is part of my monthly French cleat hanger series where each month I build a new French cleat hanger to go in the French cleats in my shop. There's a playlist, I'll link it here. Go check it out for more ideas. But this week, it's nail guns. These Ryobi nail guns are great. They're super easy to use, super useful in the shop, but unfortunately, they're also super large and super awkward when they're not being used. They get in the way. Plus, you don't wanna have a loaded nail gun sitting around while you're working. Accidents could happen. I don't wanna get shot. Now, what I've seen others do is mount these so they sit sideways or they hang on a nail. So it's, it's sideways to your view in the shop. Well, that's great if you've got room in your shop, more power to you. But I've got a small shop and horizontal space on my French cleat wall is at a premium. So what I did in my mount is I rotated the guns 90 degrees and made holsters for them. So I can fit two nail guns in the space of one. This allows me to save space and it also allows me to put these guns in a configuration they're actually going to be used. If I need a nail gun, I just grab it and I'm immediately in position to use it. Turning the guns 90 degrees gave me a lot of extra space here in the mount to solve yet another problem. Nail guns use nails and I keep my nails in a drawer way over there on the other side of the shop. That's six whole feet. As you know, nail guns are basically machine guns. So you make that walk a lot back over there to reload. Well, I solved that problem by putting in the space that I have between the nail guns to so get my hand in, the space is used to hold nails. So I've got one rack for 18 gauge nails and one rack for 16 gauge nails. So this 14 inch wide nail gun holder that is the same size as a normal horizontal holder holds two nail guns and right now has 27,000 nails in its mouth all in one place. The only thing this nail gun holder doesn't cover are batteries, but I've already got a battery charging station right here. It's really cool. It's got a lot of flashing LEDs. So batteries are here. Everything else you need for nailing is there. To make this, we have to cut some wood. And here's the measurements. The first thing you're going to do is cut a 14 by 14 inch piece of plywood. I'm using quarter inch plywood. Doesn't matter. You do you for your shop, but quarter inch is probably the minimum size required for the weight this is going to hold. For the mount structure, you're going to use half inch thick, three and a half inch wide pine. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut four seven inch pieces. These are the hangers that the nail guns will sit on. Then you're going to cut out of the same wood four five inch pieces. Then you're going to cut one eight and a half inch piece. Then out of three quarter inch scrap, if you've got this sort of thing laying around, we're going to use slightly thicker wood for the bottom of the nail holders because there's so much weight. One of these is three and a half inches deep and two and a half inches wide and the other one's three and a quarter inch wide. And we'll attach all these, it'll make sense. But here's all the wood you have to cut. We've got something else we've got to cut for the top, but I don't know what that is yet, so we're going to just stick with this until we build it and then we'll find out what we need for the top piece. So let's go. This is a build video, so here is video of me cutting the wood that I just showed you. Now, let's talk about how all these pieces are going to be attached together. If you're building a French cleat rack for a pair of Ryobi nail guns, then I'm assuming that you have a Ryobi nail gun. Or maybe you aspire to have a Ryobi nail gun and you just want a French cleat mount on the wall kind of as an inspiration. I built this because I sure do want some of those Ryobi nail guns someday. Either way, if you got one of these, use it. If not, you can use screws or whatever. But we're also going to use glue because glue holds pine really well. And we're going to put a lot of weight on this. So we want to glue it and screw it, or in our case, nail it and glue it because it needs to hold the weight. That's the power of glue. We're going to mock this up before we glue it. And the first step is to put the eight and a half inch strip down on the far left. Then add the two and a half inch thicker strip, then a five inch strip and then one of the seven inch strips on its side. Then measure a two and three quarter inch gap and put in the next five inch strip and a seven inch strip. Then grab that three and a half inch thick strip and put it on the bottom. And put in a five inch strip, another seven inch strip, 
Measure two and three quarters inches, which should be to the edge of your form, and then put the other two pieces in, five inch and seven inch. The layout is now complete. All right, mock-up time is over. Let's build this thing. The easiest way that I found to build this is to glue the strips on the left and right sides of the bottom pieces that we put in, and then clamp them, because clamps are good for everything. Then use your nail gun that this rack is built for to put nails into this thing to hold it together. These bottom pieces are going to hold a lot of weight, so you definitely want these nails here or screws or something other than just glue. With those two U-shaped pieces glued and nailed together, it's a fairly simple matter to lay out the rest of the structure. Just make sure to keep that 2.75 inch gap between the two nail holders. This is where your nail guns will go and you need that width. The next day... Now that the glue is dried, I'm using the nail gun that I'm building the rack for to put nails into the rack that will hold the nail gun. Then I add screws to the back of the nail gun mounts, which I'll tell you about in just a second. So our front is glued in place and it's held in by the glue and by the nails we put in through the back and also these screws. The screws keep these supports from falling out. They're held in by the nails, they're held in by glue, but the weight is gonna be here. So it's kind of cantilevered over the edge. And so the screws in the back keep these from pulling out. And the screws down the side here keep this piece on the side pretty stiff. These are these are pretty tight. They're not going to go anywhere, so we're pretty solid. Next we have to put the mount up here that'll hold the nail guns in the proper attitude when they're in their holster. I'll explain that in a second. Let me clamp it down to the workbench and I'll show you. The rack is clamped to the workbench because we don't have the French cleat installed yet. I'll explain that in a second. Here we have the 16 gauge nailer and it slides into its holster right here. But as you can see, it falls backwards when I let it go. And it's got the battery on it but it's heavy in the back, so it's gonna, it's gonna lean back. Here's the 18 gauge nailer, and it slides into its holster, and it likes to slide forward, because there's no battery down here. If there was a battery here, it would actually be popping wheelie like the other one is. So what we need is something up here to hold the tips in place so that they have a, a nesting place when they come in. Otherwise, they're, they're real secure. They just need to be held in a certain position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a piece of wood across the top, to force these into position. And this piece of wood is going to be what I put the screws into from behind when I mount the French cleat. Remember, this is quarter inch plywood and we're hanging two large nail guns and 27,000 steel nails on the wall. This is gonna be pretty heavy. So this will give us some additional screws that will be strong and hold it in place and it will serve the dual purpose of holding these where they need to be so when you slide it in, it'll stay put and it won't rock around. So I went to the scrap bin and I found a two and a half inch wide piece of three quarter inch wood that I had left over from I don't know what and applied that here where I marked to be our stop for the two nail guns. And then I realized there's one and three quarters inch across the top I don't need so I just cut that off. So this is no longer a 14 by 14 inch piece, it's 14 by 14 with the top having 1.75 inches cut off. So now I can attach this right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp it in place with glue and let it dry and then I'm going to come in and apply the French cleat to the back of this and have longer screws that can go through and support all the weight that's going to be here. So it's time to glue this down. Since everything is laying flat, I take this opportunity to put a piece of scrap wood in to hold the 18 gauge gun in position. You'll need to do this kind of trimming for both guns and I'll explain it in just a second. Eight hours later. The glue is dry and I have screwed the French cleat rail into the back using two inch screws. So major construction is over. Now it's time to get everything mounted. You saw the first wood scrap that I added to this that holds the 18 gauge nail gun in position. See there it holds it in place. It doesn't let it go up or down and it holds it right where you want it. So it's always in a position where you can grab it. The larger and heavier 16 gauge nail gun required two pieces of wood to hold it in position to keep it from rocking forward and backwards. But it's just as secure as the smaller one. I didn't put these in the cut list because you're going to use scraps to trim your own nail guns. But once you do, they're held very securely and aren't going to fall out easily. So there it is, my French cleat dual nail gun holder. It's way up high to keep it out of the way, but it's easily reachable by me if I need to grab anything. And all the nails are right up here where I need them. 
If I ever need to move my nail guns, all I have to do is pick up this French cleat rack and move it anywhere in the shop because I have French cleats everywhere. Thanks to our patrons, you make it possible for us to build stuff like this. In fact, in this case, you made all of this possible. Many thanks. It's now in its natural environment. This is where it's going to live forever, so that's where it'll stay. If you got any questions or comments, put them below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a build. Well, that's all I got for now. I'll see you next time.